back again with the uh, now it's time to have beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is a Guinness West Indies Portal. 6% on a Richter scale. First bad boy. This has been uh, the Brewer's source since 1801. I'm in it past 6. <coughs> so anyway. Pop some iron furniture on and see what it says. The Brewer's Project, which came out. Uh, I don't know if anyone's following my channel. Actually, it came out a few years ago and uh, I was off the drink. I was off the drink for nearly three years. So anyway, uh, they brought these uh, projects out. And I'm gladly going to review this for you now. I was actually disappointed to see it coming out, obviously, when I stopped drinking. Uh, but they've come out now, so I get my chance, and here we have the West Indies uh, Guinness Project crown. So here we have standard Guinness glass that every house should have. Down here for the port. Give it a kind of an aggressive port. I had this in my cupboard actually. Uh, for simple reason, I was like, like see, you tend to put stouts and stuff like that in the fridge, and uh, you lose a lot of the flavours. Uh, to be honest with you, until you almost finish your bottle when it warms up. So anyway, I've made a a right ass of that pour, an aggressive pour. I think the Americans call it. Um, so. We'll see if I can pick anything up in the nose. Picking up some uh, chocolate, like dark, uh, bittersweet chocolate, roasted malts, almost uh, knocking on the door of an espresso. That's really all I'm picking up from it. It's I keep banging in my glass. I'm sorry because uh, my glass isn't properly the way I would like it. But anyway, we'll go in here and we'll see what the Guinness West Indies Porter has to offer. Sanjeeva. That's pretty solid. I've got it. It's pretty. It's pretty light on the the mouthfeel. Pretty uh, almost uh, watery, but it makes up with it with uh, lovely roasted malt and uh, coffee and bitter sweet chocolate. With a little bit of vanilla in the finish. Pretty well rounded uh, stout from Guinness here. That's actually quite good. Very, very nice. The West Indies, obviously, I don't know what the, the history on this is, but I'm only guessing that it was, it was brewed a lot stronger to get to the West Indies uh, in those days by by ship but it's it's absolutely quite nice very very Moorish to be honest what I love about it is uh, it's got bittersweet chocolate when you try it it's got a lovely sort of dark chocolate like a, a Cadbury's uh, Bonville and then on the aftertaste or just before you go hit the back of the tongue it's got, it turns to milk chocolate which is very very pleasant to be honest so anyway I bought, picked up on my local supermarket and it's going really cheap just now I think I paid one twenty five a bottle <coughs> Plus the fact it's very carbonated. 
125 a bottle for this. It's actually not that bad if you like your stouts um, and porters. Really, really nice. Would I drink it again? Yeah, I probably would because I bought a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to give the Guinness West Indies Porter 6 on a Richter scale. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Drunk rating of, I'm going to give that a solid 8.5 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had it, give us a shout. And if not, have a go at it. Or if you disagree, drop your comment below. So anyway, Sofa King Drunk, I'm going to finish the rest of this off. And hopefully I'll catch you in another beer review. Ciao for now.